G'day, it's Lushington Brady. I'm here on the lawns of Tasmania's Parliament House reporting on the Hobart leg of the Worldwide Day for Freedom. We gotta stay free. Now the media have been telling us that these rallies are run by right-wing extremists and white supremacists. So I'm going to see if I can find any. Are you a white supremacist? I, I am, yes. <laughs> Apparently I am, yeah. even though my grandmother's brother was part of the stolen generation, oh, but yeah. yeah. Are you the right-wing extremists we keep hearing about? Apparently we yeah. are, <laughs> yes. with our soy lattes. Yes. 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 <laughs> are you anti-vaxxers? No. 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 My Come daughter. On, you keep telling I'm doing my... And so, so, so why are you here? I'm here today because the intrusion, like, the intrusion on our freedoms our body autonomy. Um, it's not about being vaccinated or unvaccinated. There'll be people here that are vaccinated. And it's a freedom of choice. And as long as people haven't done it under coercion, and unfortunately I think a lot of people have taken the shot because they were threatened to lose their jobs, which is coercion, which is illegal. Coming from this Aboriginal heritage, we know what the government is capable of. My family knows what the government is capable of. Uh, grandparents were in World War II, they're Polish, they're yes. prisoners, uh, of prisoners of war. Mm -hmm. um, it, we're just thinking that this is the start, the insidious start of the lock, lack of freedom for people. You have got to be one of the white, right wing extremist white supremacists that are running this, <laughs> that are behind all this. I mean, just look at you. <laughs> one thing I've been wondering, I've seen a lot of these protests, the upside down flags. It's the uh, sign of distress, mate, the international sign of distress. Yeah. Our country's gone far too corrupt. Our parliament's full of criminals, our Commonwealth's been hijacked, and I want our Commonwealth back. Yep. These parliament, parliamentarians just do whatever they want, whenever they want. And I've had a gut full of it. We the people rule the country, not them, and it's about time they learnt that. You cannot... You, you just can't segregate. I think you'll find that most decent people, vaccinated or not, do not want to live in a segregated society. Yeah, medical freedom. Yep. We don't want to divorce if we can. We should have the choice to do whatever we want. Yeah. Are you against vaccinations in general? Uh, not necessarily. I've been vaccinated for certain things, but after this, Big uh, load of garbage. So I won't be getting vaccinated anymore. Did you say that the um, the whole thing of the um, like trying to mandate vaccines and stuff has actually made you more wary of them? It's made me want to do it less and less the more they push for it. I actually was forced to take the jab to keep yeah. my job. I um, got it a couple of days ago. I had literally had no choice. Um, that's why you know we're in distress. Yeah. It's um, yeah, uh, five right. years in disability with um, high needs um, individuals with um, autism, um, mm -hmm. high needs, high demands. Um, I actually was forced to take the jab to keep yeah. my job. Disability is an industry founded on choice and a right of uh, quality life for for individuals, not just um, with special needs, but for everyone. You know, it's an industry founded on choice. And um, the participants we work with, they have a choice. They have a choice whether they get it or not, but as far as their staff, we, we have no choice in getting it. But what actually, what brings you out here today? Uh, freedom of choice. Yep. Yeah. Are you anti-vaccination in general? Or? No, I had um, immunisation for tetanus last year. We are born free. We are born with God given freedom. We are born with God given freedom where we exercise free choice. I reckon you look like you've got to be one of the white, the white supremacist, far right extremists that they're telling us are, are in, in on this. <laughs> so, why are you out here today? Freedom of choice. We uh, believe in liberal democracy and freedom and we've been fighting for many years for those principles. <laughs> My name's Steve Hindley and uh, until recently I'd been a doctor for 34 years and 23 of those in Tasmania. I also took an oath to do several things, one of which was to treat all men as equals. Yeah. Not to participate in medical apartheid. Yeah. 
We are now, as the doctor said, a two-tiered citizenship. Those who are vaxxed and those who are not vaxxed. Perhaps the latter should go around with a yellow star on their breast. One thing that stood out is that so many people have asked me if I'm independent media. When I tell them that I am, they've been very supportive. The mainstream media, on the other hand... Oh, whoops! <laughs> Tell the truth. Are you going to tell the truth? I try to. We'd love it if you did. <laughs> yeah. Are uh, you independent? I am. Still, rally organisers intervened and asked the crowd to treat all media with respect. Here, we're not going to affect the ballot boxes until we can affect more people. So we need to talk with other people who don't agree with us and convince them. We need media who are responsible for terrible coverage to actually turn up and hear these voices. So let's not shout them down. Let's have them in here. Let's have the cameras here and let's let them hear some logical arguments. Too few politicians have stood up in the defence of the people and our freedoms. And why do we keep on voting for the same parties? Liberal, Labor, National, even the Greens. After all, they are the ones who have destroyed this nation of ours. Tactics have been employed by this and just about every other Western government have guaranteed that the hospitals would be overburdened and guaranteed that you would all be there to watch when the cameras were rolling. So don't believe this nonsense. This is not how you deal with a, a pandemic. It's We've been telling social distancing rules uh, uh, to kids for the past 20 months. In childcare centres, kids have been discouraged from hugging each other. Imagine that. Toddlers, uh, their socialisation at that age is so important and they're being taught not to connect physically with other people. What will that do for the next generation if we have this constant idea of other people are a danger to you? Keep away from them. What sort of neuroses are we creating in our young children? This idea that everywhere we go, no matter how short a time period of time we're going to go passing by something, even if it's an outdoor event that we're going into, we need to constantly tell the government where we are. This idea that you have to constantly do that doesn't make any sense. If you want the government to be able to tell you at any stage that you've been in contact with someone, you can voluntarily do it. But right now we have a compulsory system where if you don't check in every time, hundreds of times in a day, you can face various fines. It does not matter if you're vaccinated or unvaccinated. Because remember what got drummed into us? My body, my choice. See, folks, there's that violent image we've heard about. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've seen a lot of different signs and heard all sorts of views here. To be fair, some of them were definitely what you'd call anti-vax. But most were not. And everyone agreed that freedom, freedom to take the vaccine or not to take it, was the issue. This is Lushington Brady in Hobart for the BFD. Regardless. I am, you are.